Hey guys, just going to do a quick uh, what's in my camera bag video. Uh, first we'll start off with my bag. It's the Tamarack Expedition 3. Um, I really love this bag. It's great quality. Probably the best bag um, I've ever had. Um, Alright, we'll start off with this front. I usually don't keep too much in this front um, pocket right here. Um, it's really nice see-through mesh up here, but down here it's got a... Uh, rubber coating so it'll keep your stuff dry if you're in a light rain or whatever of course it's not 100% waterproof but it gets the job done um, well first uh, right here we I have one of my uh, lens hoods attached to this little strap this strap is perfect for keeping a monopod or tripod or anything like that right now I just happen to have one of my hoods on there In this front pocket, um, it's got a couple card holders, a couple places to put some spare memory cards, um, compact flash, whatever. Um, this pocket, this little pocket right here is perfect for if you want to keep like a pen or like a normal writing pen and a notebook in here. Or maybe a lens pen to clean out your body and stuff like that. Um, this one I don't use a lot. Um, right now I have a, just a little UV filter in there. Um, but this is uh, great for like a mobile device or an iPod. I've often used it for that purpose as well. Um, it's a pretty nice size pocket. Um, so that's the front pocket. I usually don't keep too much stuff up there. Just batteries and little uh, chargers or whatever. Um, I've got this little keychain. Um, it looks like a lens. That's kind of cool. Um, it has a microfiber cloth on there for cleaning out your screens, your lenses, whatever. Um, so I like the, I like to have that on my bag. Um, so here's my bag. First we'll start off with these pockets up top. These are nice waterproof see-through mesh, good plastic coating on them. Um, I've up not, right now I've just got a couple filters, uh, ND filter, polarizer, um, just different kind of things up there not really important this pocket I have a lot of batteries um, double AA, a triple a and even my uh, Canon one of my Canon batteries um, so that's the front I, I usually don't keep a whole bunch of stuff up here but just enough you know whatever I need little extra things um, for my actual gear it depends on what kind of shoot I'll be going to, but um, right now it's kind of set up for an outdoors or a hiking shoot. Um, I'll show you later what I bring for like a portrait or something like that. Right now I've just got my Canon body with battery grip. Um, as you can see, um, it's not a very big bag, but it is deep enough to hold my uh, Canon T2i with battery grip. Um, it's a little snug, but I kind of like that so it's not rattling around in there and getting damaged or whatever. Um, sometimes I store it with just the lens cap on or the body cap on, but um, usually I'll have a lens on it. Right now I just don't for some reason. My first lens is the uh, Canon 85mm 1.8. Um, I really like this lens. This is definitely the lens I use the most for portrait work or when I just want to use the 1.8 aperture so yep uh, now we have my I just this is one of my newer lenses um, the 40 millimeter pancake lens this thing is tiny um, I love using it though it's really cool it's uh, 40 millimeters f 2.8 so it's really awesome it has the new STM focusing system in it um, which I really like. I do shoot video every now and then, so um, I like that. Um, over here, my last lens is my 17 to 40 f/4 L lens. Um, I really love this lens. This is definitely my favorite landscape lens. Um, I don't mind the slower f/4 aperture. Um, it, it's still good, uh, still fast enough for what I use it for. I mainly use it for just landscape and stuff like that but this is a great lens you can't beat the L glass uh, and then over here I've just got some little knick-knack things um, my wireless triggers um, 
and uh, an attachment cord that can also be used as a uh, like say a wireless shutter release so um, when I'm taking long exposures I don't have to worry about camera shake or anything I can just throw those on there um, in this pocket I've got um, a tripod collar for my tripod um, always keep that in there and uh, this is my macro extension tube kit um, I love using these it's a cheap way to get some good macro photos um, but yeah I always keep these in here as well if I want to get like a cool macro photo of like a flower or uh, some kind of insect or something I always keep these in here um, so that's pretty much how I have my bag set up for an outdoors or a hiking shoot. Now, if I were to go to a portraiture shoot or anything like that, I would uh, most likely leave the 17 to 40 at home. It's a great lens, but I generally don't use it for portraits. Um, um, so I'll take that out and I'll put my uh, flash in here. What's nice about this bag is it has. What's nice about this bag is it has Velcro, so you can customize how you want to set your bag up so I'll usually take one of these dividers out just throw my flash in there just like that um, I'll have like my flash a uh, little holder um, maybe like um, one of my mounts for one of the flash stands or whatever I'll throw that in here as well but it just definitely it just varies on uh, what kind of shoot I'm doing so yep that's what's in my camera bag. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe.